Hello and welcome to PC Attack. Today I'm gonna do a, um, an unboxing and a review of some of my favorite headphones, some of the best headphones I've heard under a $600 price range, which are the Blue DL UFO headsets. These are Bluetooth. So without further ado, let's get the unboxing out the way and let's do a review. But before I do the unboxing, this is my second pair of Blue DLs. What happened with the first pair that I had and this is kind of weird to start a review and unboxing off like this is my battery life wasn't as advertised they advertised around 28 hours I was getting more on the lines of around six and a half so I returned those and I received these right here now these I know this is bad to start off in a video like this but these also have to go back because they were dead on the rifle tried to charge them try to charge and use them which that is a feature they can be paired to multiple devices I get to that in the review and I was still having the same issue it just didn't work at all you plug it in it will power on but you can't sync it you can't do anything to it once you unplug it that's it it's like the battery is either dead not connected properly or something happened to it you know in production which I don't know what happened so without further ado let me go ahead and get these open this is the box that it comes in so you guys can see it. This headphones here has eight drivers, which I'm gonna get into more depth. So I'm gonna take this out, which is great. I love this. Take this, open this magnetically. Right here you can see your magnetic strips holding it in place. On this side you have your manual, which of course, for this headphones in particular, I would recommend you go over it. It's only a few pages that are in English also, but go over it so you can actually take advantage of the features of this headphones. So it's back here because this has to go back. I'm going to order another pair. That's how much I actually like them. I'm going to order me a third pair. Just to give you my background, I'm on some um, Turtle Beach Tangos. I have some Beat Studios. I have some uh, Beats, uh, what are they called, Solos. But those are my friends. I was borrowing them just to, uh, you know, compare it. Uh, I heard some Astro 840s, some Astro 850s. I heard a, a pair of Sennheisers, some Sonys. I've heard a lot of headphones, so I pretty much have a idea of what I like to listen to. Right here, let's grab this out. Yes, the UFOs come inside a case, a hard case, which is great. Inside this case, you're going to get your USB cord to charge it. In the course, as I said earlier, you could charge and use these at the exact same time. And this headphones can be paired to two devices simultaneously. But of course, only one will play through your headphones. But let's say you're listening to music on your iPad and a phone call comes through. You could, within like a the second or third ring of the phone call, it will switch over to your headset and then you have the option of answering it for your headset or not. Right here, just a regular cable, you know, 3.5 millimeter jack, you know, standard. Let's take these out. They unfold like so. Very good construction. You see I'm bending them and they go right back into place. Bend them again, they go right back into place. Twist twist very good construction i have the r plus legends that's why i got these the only problem i have with those are the build quality which i'm gonna get to in another video right here on the left hand side you have the blue deal ledge uh blue deal um logo your headphone jack that plugs into here and i read a few uh blogs and on their site i had to translate it I think that in order to get the 120 decibels, that, which is pretty much, you know, damaging to your ears, you're going to have to get an amplifier headphone jack or have it on a motherboard, sound card, or external USB to actually get the full potential of these headphones. They do use Bluetooth 4.1, which is great, but that's what I heard. So I have plugged them in, and I will say this. From my experience, they are better, especially if you listen to FLAC. You gotta listen to FLAC file music, which a lot of people should understand that's an uncompressed music file. Right here, which is a weird place, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is where you would actually charge your headphones at. 
it's right there. It's in a very inconvenient place because the only way to access it is through doing that or just holding your headphones this way. A lot of times people will miss it, but it's right there under the volume minus button. Right here, you can hold this down to power it on. It will start to turn blue and then it will say on and it will say off when it goes off. It has voice commands. Uh, volume plus, next track, back a track, or which is great, or going back one, however you want to put it, or however you prefer to say it. So that's it for that. Now it's another function which is called the 3D sound function. I will highly recommend if you get these headphones, you turn those on right away. If I'm not mistaken, you either hold this down or forward or back. One of them enables and one of them disable. I think for it enables, you hold it down for about a second or two, it'll make a beep sound, then you'll hear it instantly. Your bass will get a whole lot more punchier and crisper, and your vocals will get a little bit more louder. And if I'm not mistaken, the back is to turn off the 3D sound. Not 100% sure the orientation, but it's one of those. Now onto the review of these. As I said, the build quality is great. Yes, I have defective ones, but whenever something's coming down the production line, you're gonna get defects. Um, audio quality, phenomenal. I mean, it's four drivers in each one. You have a 50 millimeter driver in each headphone and that is just dedicated to the bass. And my gosh, these bad boys have outstanding bass. Then you have your other three drivers, like your, just almost like a 5.1 surround sound or 7.1 sound, surround sound headphones will be set up. There for your vocals, your high, mids, and your lows, or your highs and mids. I don't know how they got it orientated in here, but it's on their website and it's displayed there. Uh, the frequency response is from five to 25,000, if I'm not mistaken. And your maximum noise is actually 120 decibels for loudness. Now, I'm gonna explain one thing. A lot of people keep saying, you know, noise canceling. Noise canceling sound leakage is totally different. A lot of people confuse the two. Noise canceling just means that how loud it's gonna to get to actually drown out anything else that you would normally hear in a room. So noise canceling is only the loudness of your headphones, nothing more. Sound leakage is how much sound is escaping your headphones so other people can hear you that's in your uh, nearby area or your vicinity, however you wanna phrase that yourself. Now, the noise cancellation, which as I said, that's the loudness, it's phenomenal. You turn these up, you're not gonna pretty much hear anything. You're just in your music. Now, your sound leakage is bad. The reason why it's bad, whenever you get so much sound or so many decibels, it's gonna escape the headphones. There's no way to kind of trap that much sound inside these headphones. But at a low volume, no one should hear you. But as you crank them up, of course, more people are gonna hear you. Think about it as if being inside a car. If you keep turning your sounds up, they're gonna start escaping. And especially because you need it to start, it's gonna to have to escape because they're on your ear. They're not in no sound treated room that's treated for sound not to escape and to keep everything in there and for your vibrations. Uh, once again, I heard these and with these headphones, I heard some Beat Studios and I think they were Beat Solos. I was hearing stuff in songs on these headphones that I never heard on the Beats or Sennheisers under the $400 price range for the Sennheisers. I was hearing more stuff on these than any other headset within that price range. And the price of these, which are great considering uh, the price of these are $199.99. Battery life, a lot of people said that they didn't have any problem. They were getting an advertised 28 hours, which is great if you get one, a pair of those. And as I say, you can charge and use these at the same time. For gaming and movie watching, these are beautiful, especially for movie watching. They're so good for movie watching, I'm going to get another pair. It actually sounds like I was in a theater, especially if you activate that 3D sound. The sound is amazing on these. I very well enjoy these. The comfort is great. I mean, yes, my head, my ear started to sweat a little bit, but that was after probably like six to eight hours of continuous usage 
and it's going to be depending on the person you know how sensitive your ears are you know how much how you sweat or how often you sweat or how much heat your body actually emits so it's going to be different for everybody across the board but for me i had no problems you know the comfort is great and these are my favorite headphones right here and i will recommend them highly but I will have to put an asterisk. You're going to have to test your battery life when you get it to make sure you're getting your advertised battery. If you are, I'm going to actually have to, if I had to rank this on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give these a 9.8 out of 10. That's a very high score. And the only reason why it's getting that 9.8 is because, as I said, I'm going to have to order a third one. So it lost 0.1 of a point every time I had to get another one. But as I said, build quality wise and everything, these are my favorite headphones. Period. Bar none. I had a, a few friends listen to them and they said the same thing, even though they own Beats or Sennheisers, which Beats are very popular. I'm not saying anything bad about Beats, but these just sound better in every way, shape and form, more bass, more vocals, you hear more instruments in the background. You know, comfort level is amazing on these. The build quality is actually better than the competitors, especially at this price point. Once again, if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave it below in the comments. A thumbs up if you like the video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. And these are the uh, Blue Dio UFOs headphones. And just to let you guys know before I sign off, these are Bluetooth 4.1, which are phenomenal. It's good for uh, power saving on, on top of that. So I hope to see you guys in my next video where I'm going to review the R Plus Legends. Thank you.